friends, it's Kelly and welcome to my channel and happy December! I cannot believe we're already here, but I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite months and not just because of the beauty of the holiday and the joy of Christmas, but we have four children and three of them have a birthdays in December, so it's always fun to celebrate their births and enjoy these uh, growing adults that we have. It's awesome! Christmas countdown coffee advent calendar time. I have been so excited to try this. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. And this morning it was finally day number one, which is here. And indeed it was a um, apple pie, which if you remember peeking at the back with me when I did a haul, this did come from Aldi, one of my favorite grocery stores. I love their Isle of Shame. <laughs> <laughs> they did say here were the flavors and it started with apple pie. I actually thought this was in alphabetical order, but day number one was apple pie and that is exactly what came out. <laughs> so we'll know for sure if tomorrow is Big Island Blend and then the next day is Brazil. But I love this calendar. This is so much fun. The way to my heart absolutely is through coffee. Now the fun thing is when I saw this, I thought kind of, not gonna lie my first impression was ew <laughs> not that i would not mind a dessert at you know seven o'clock in the morning i have not ever <laughs> minded having a sweet treat that early <clears throat> excuse me but i'm not actually a fan of apple pie <laughs> i know i know don't uh, don't hate me for that but I actually do not like, I love apples. I'm obsessed with apples actually, but once they're heated through, I just can't. Once they get, you know, mushy in it, an apple pie is just not for me. So um, I was worried about this one. I thought this was gonna be super sweet and a little bit weird. It's delicious. It's actually a, a very mild flavor of the apple and it's not sweet, which works perfect for me since I don't add sweetener to my coffee. This is actually quite yummy. And I also started off with my holiday mug, got my Snoopy. So today is also what I'm hoping will be 12 days of Christmas. I am challenging myself to do 12 crafty Christmas things starting from today up till day number 12. And um, I got to work really, really, <laughs> really, really late. It was probably 1 a.m. when I started working on these. This is a super fun die set from Sizzix and Tim Holtz. Love Tim Holtz products, especially the Distress Oxide inks. This is something that I bought at Hobby Lobby during their summer clearance. I paid a dollar something for this, and this is definitely not a dollar something normally. And it is a set of dies, and you just, you know, uh, nest them almost like the uh, nesting dolls, the Russian nesting dolls. That's how these uh, die cut. You start with the larger one. Oh, here, let's just pull one out. Whenever I have extras, I try to keep it inside the container. So you start with the larger one, and then you have this one, and then you just build up on it so it'll look something like that. This was such a fun set. I am really glad that I picked it up. It was literally like May or June, and they had this huge clearance sale, and I said, you know, this will be fun to use at Christmas time, and here I am. <laughs> so this was um, basically building. You start with the larger one, and then you just layer them on the top. So I did start one earlier and then I stopped halfway. So I thought, let me just finish uh, building it and I'll share it with you how it works. So you start with the base card stock, then you add on the next layer, which would be the small little color on the outside here. And I love how these mimic the frosting and uh, it's just a lot of fun. You can choose whatever colors you like, whatever designs you like. You can mix and match and I'll share with you really quickly what I mean by that. So you just basically layer them here. I always try to keep something heavy around when I'm doing this. It takes very, very few seconds um, to dry and to set and I love this glue. The Barely Arts glue, I love this. It's my go-to glue and I just layer it like that, make sure I have the right one, and just hit it with a little bit of glue. A little goes a long way with the Barely Arts glue, and you can use any glue you have on hand. You can use, you know, um, Elmer's if that's what you have, the, the Eileen's. You can use the one from Dollar Tree. 
And then you can even also Mod Podge these or put a layer, a base layer of um, something shiny like a glue that dries um, clear. And that would be fine too. So I just set that there for literally a quick second and that was it. It was so easy. What you can also do is this small little um, snowflake die, which is, leave it in this one here. Yeah, it's this one here. So once you die cut this out, um, <laughs> I still got to get these little circles out. Once you die cut this out, it is this little thin, a little snowflake. You could always add one of those to here. You could put the snowflake on the mitten if you wanted to. So you can just mix and match and really have fun with these and just enjoy it. I loved this. This was a lot of fun. And my next step is to add these to a card. These are cookies and um, these look like little gingerbread. So this would be fun as card candy. This would be fun to add as ephemera or maybe pop some up on the front of a card, which is what I'm planning to do. And what I love to do with card making is uh, do them in batches. I don't like to sit down and make one single card. I try to make multiples of it. So I'll do all of the die cutting, then all of the base layering, and then I'll you know make all of the uh, card bases then I'll get my um, background going and then I'll just start building up on that. So this is going to be a super fun start to the uh, holiday countdown crafting <laughs> and um, I'll show you the finished cards as well once these are uh, completed and find the right sentiment to go with these beautiful little gingerbread cookies. And that's it for uh, craft number one and video number one for today. And uh, this was a lot of fun, so I can't wait to see what all of the crafty things that everyone is making. I have a couple of unboxings, I have a couple of mailings to share with you, and I also have a couple of collaborations. So I'm really excited for this month. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching my friends and uh, if you could give this a like and a thumbs up that would really help out my channel grow and I appreciate you all so much. I really do. I'm uh, so grateful for your visits and for your comments, for your likes and uh, leaving a comment also helps me find your channel as well. Made a lot of new friends that way so thank you so much for that. I'll see you soon my friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.